Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm at Tubbs Inlet near Ocean Isle, North Carolina on a brand new boat from Stingray. Now, Stingray is a brand that I've been tracking for over 20 years. Their reputation has always been to bring a great performing, well-built boat at a moderate price to the marketplace. Well, this is the first year I've been on their new center console 273. What they did here was check all the boxes on what you'd need in a saltwater boat. The engineers and designers got it right. Now let me talk to you about some of the things that I discovered right away that a lot of saltwater boat builders forget. For instance, cup holders and rod holders all drain to the deck or overboard. I like the fact that the cockpit is guttered with stainless steel grills over the scuppers, which means no bait, no tackle is going to slip down in there and plug them up. Now there's a lot more to the style and detail in this boat, but let's talk about performance first. The first thing you'll notice about this 27 foot 11 inch boat it's got an eight and a half foot beam and an extremely solid ride. You can thank Stingray's Z-Plane hull for that. It's a special design. It gives the boat plenty of lift, plenty of stability, and good performance. Now, the solid ride of this hull can be attributed to Stingray's unique vacuum infusion system. Fiberglass and foam-filled stringers are integrated right into the hull system through the vacuum infusion process, and it gives it a great solid ride. You've also got a hard top over the helm, and that's integrated right into the console. I like that system because it saves deck space for easy passage, and it just makes a much more solid connection between your hard top and your deck. Now, another impressive thing about the 273cc is the comprehensive standard list. For one, you have a 12-inch Garmin display on the dash that's standard. We also have an optional one on the starboard side. You've also got a standard windlass on the boat, 15 gallon standard live well, and an optional 35 gallon live well on the leaning post. Another helpful standard is the vessel view display in the hard top. That also gives you backup navigation. Another good standard on board is the zip wake. That automatically levels the load as your crew moves around or you take the wind or the waves on a different angle. Now when you look at the console dash, you'll notice something missing. That's toggle switches and push buttons. That's because of another great standard on this boat. That is digital switching. All the systems on this boat will be controlled through the Garmin display. Another nice standard on board are the custom Wise seats. The seats are comfortable whether you're standing or leaning against them. You've got flip up bolsters, they're nicely contoured, and you've got fold down armrests. Now as you move forward, you're going to appreciate the stainless steel grab rails and they're tucked down in a little recess so they don't interfere with your fishing. Once you're up here, you see you've got a nice wraparound seating area, but you can stow the cushions and it makes a nice fishing deck. If you like, there's an optional platform to put in between that expands your fishing deck or makes the area into a sun pad. Now the bolsters are extremely comfortable to lean back against. And for the forward-facing lounges, you've got wraparound bolsters that are built in a way that they don't have to be removed and stowed. Now, as you look around the area, you'll find some more small touches that really make the boat. I like the stone look trim around the cup holders. You've also got power points for phone chargers and LED courtesy lighting. Another unexpected feature on this 27-foot boat is the dual lounge on the front of the console. Lift it up and you've got a coffin box with plenty of storage underneath. And should you use it for a fish box, it drains to a sump that goes overboard. Another nice feature for the comfort of your passengers is the compartment below the helm. It features a pump-out toilet, a freshwater sink, and it's nicely trimmed in a Corian surface. Now you may think you've seen all the seating options on board, but you haven't. Follow me aft. Now back here, you've got two large seats on the back of the leaning post and a pull-out transom seat that's almost big enough for three people. Now we've talked about performance, comfort, and a little bit about fishing, including the live wells. But let's come back and cover some of the fine points there. There's four shotgun rod holders in the transom, plenty of gunnel rod holders in the sides, and underneath the gunnels, you've got rod hangers, three on each side. Another nice touch is the heavy-duty tow rail. That means you can hook your toes under it, lean out to gaff a fish, and be secure. Now, if you're fishing for big game, you've got a transom door here that gives you plenty of access to drag your fish right into the fish box. Another thing you'll appreciate is the wide transom platform. The way the boat's rigged, you can walk from port to starboard and back and not trip over any of the rigging. 
In the starboard side of the leaning post, you've got tackle storage, and on the port side, you've got trash. Now, Stingray makes the maintenance operations on this boat very easy. You've got battery switches on the front of the leaning post, a large trap door that gives you access to the batteries. In the center of the deck, you've got a large hatch that gives you access to all your pumps and your fuel filters. If you need another access point, you go to the plates and the transom behind the boat. For the convenience of operating the boat, you've got fuel fills on both the port and starboard side of the boat. Now at the price on this boat, the standard list, as I said, is comprehensive and it includes a Fusion audio system. You've got an optional joystick steering system and I'd want to think about that if I were you because it's great for station keeping and easy docking. The 273cc is a well-equipped boat that performs well and it will fish the way you want to. I'm Randy Vance on the Stingray 273cc.